Welcome back to Pomesa's channel. In this video, we will demonstrate installation, wiring, and power communication setup of the POM60 Ultra Solar Charge Controller, covering the basic preparatory steps before operating a solar system. If you only need to install one controller, you can also understand the basic installation and wiring method throughout the process. First, use a marker to mark the locations of the mounting holes on the wall. Each controller is wood mounted with four screws. Next, prepare the battery wiring by connecting the battery's positive and negative terminals to the circuit breaker in the battery wiring. Note that battery's positive terminal should connect to the positive terminal of the breaker and the negative terminal should connect to the negative terminal. Before connecting the battery to the controller, use a multimeter to check if the controller's voltage is within the acceptable range. Next, connect the positive and negative terminals of the circuit breaker to the positive and negative terminals of the controller. If you are using multiple controllers in parallel, you can install positive and negative bus bar between the circuit breaker and the controller to connect the multiple controllers to the battery. Then connect the solar panel to the PV input terminals. If you are using multiple controllers in parallel, each controller can be connected to different models, orientations, and the tilt angles of the solar rays significantly enhancing the flexibility of your PV setup. Ensure that the positive lights of the PV is connected to the positive terminals of the PV input and the negative lights is connected to the negative terminals. Then connect the DC loads. If your controller is used only for battery charging, you can skip this step. Proceed to the power communication connection. If your system is running as a standalone unit, you can skip the power communication step. Use communication cables to connect the power communication ports between the controllers, making sure to distinguish between the power communication ports and temperature proper ports. For systems with more than three controllers, refer to the communication port configuration diagram for cable preparation. Finally, connect one end of temperature prop to the controller and secure the other end to the battery case. After completing all wiring, power up the controller using the battery circuit breaker. First, set a communication code to define the master and slave controllers, with a lower number as the master. Then by selecting the battery type on a master controller. The related programs on the slave controllers will also synchronize. That's all for the Po M60 Ultra Solar Charge Controller installation and wiring guide. We hope this information is helpful to you. In future videos, we will detail the configuration of the setting programs. Thank you for watching and see you next time.